Thousands of Namibian youth who survived the brutal 1978 massacre were relocated to Cuba by invitation of the late Cuban president Fidel Castro. Two schools were set up at the island country for youth, where in its first year of establishment, 600 of young Namibians were enrolled at the Hendrik Vetboy and Hosea Kutako High schools. To date, up to 25,000 Africans have been educated at these and other institutions in Cuba. To honor this long-lasting relationship, Cuban ambassador to Namibia, Giraldo Mazola, donated a painting of the Hosea Kutako High School in Cuba to the Independence Memorial Museum. And we are proud when we see the photos of this school that fortunately, thanks to the will of Swapo and the help we gave to them, all of them became normal human beings. It means they were not crushed by the memory of that massacre who was very strong. And many of them are now generals, officials of the army, doctors, and they're contributing to the development of your country. The curator of history at the museum welcomed the gift from the Cuban embassy and highlighted the sentimental and historical value that this painting carries. Sentimentally, we are very proud to have this photo here because a lot of our brothers and sisters, Namibians, have been trained there. And especially, as the uh, ambassador has stated, uh, our, our, our brothers and sisters who survived the, uh, the Kasinga massacre were trained at these schools. Inspector General Sebastian Deindunga, Permanent Secretary of Finance Erika Shafuta, and Samuel Tongosep, PS in the Presidency, are some of the Kasinga survivors who attended school in Cuba. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.